online cars and coffee and now we're giving car enthusiasts a place to gather so this is how it works first you pick your rank in the list of perks and what you want second we send you a free sticker pack to thank you for joining the club third you gain access to our private discord group which gives you access to all the GDC forums to collaborate with other drivers the parts marketplace to buy sell and trade parts and it gives you access to local GDC meets, cruises, and drives. Join the club today to earn all of these benefits and start driving with gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on guys? What is going on tonight? If you're in the chat, holler at me, leave a comment. So first and foremost, I want to let everybody know about the uh, Black Friday deal we got going on. Nothing too crazy, but we are doing free shipping on any order over $15 at GDCapparel.com. So if you've been wanting to pick up a hoodie, a long sleeve, a beanie, a hat for the winter, please do so. Uh, that deal will be going on from this Friday to next Friday, and you'll get free shipping anywhere in the U.S. So take advantage of that deal. Usually our shipping rates are between $6.95 and $10, so this is actually a really good deal. If you've been wanting to pick up some winter gear, uh, hoodies are super comfortable, long sleeves are super comfortable. I'm wearing the cap right now, uh, but we also have beanies that are awesome as well. So go ahead and check that out. That's the Black Friday deal. Also, I want to give a big shout out to the Patreon family. Uh, I want to give a shout out to a few people in the uh, in the group. Yes, sir. The Rice Pontiac's in here. That's what I'm talking about. So, like I said, I want to give uh, a shout out to some people in the group. But I'm gonna see who's in the stream right now. Let's see who's in the stream. Okay, okay, so some people are starting to come in a little bit. It's going to be a little slow. We just started doing these streams, so it's going to be a little slow, but no worries. We're going to keep trucking along. But from now on, um, some of those people who are the most active in the Patreon group, um, we're going to go ahead and give shout-outs to here on the live streams, on the podcast, stuff like that, as promised. But um, I want to give a shout-out to Mike Potter. 
I want to give a shout out to the Rice Pontiac. I want to give a shout out to No2 Boss, King Crew 65, Bowie underscore Versa, Fallen Focus, and Molly No Drugs. Those guys are some of the most active people in the Patreon group. If you guys want to uh, join the Patreon group, join the family, go down below in the description. Uh, there'll be a link to it where you guys can go in there, check it out. Basically, it's like a Discord group with all of us car guys in there talking about a bunch of uh, shenanigans. You get free stickers when you sign up. It's pretty cool. Uh, get your own discount code, so on and so forth. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, you know, I did a live stream last night about Tesla and them coming out with their new uh, pickup truck. You know, it's been a big passion of Elon Musk for a while to, um, you know, create a electric pickup truck and uh you know they finally did it i appreciate that for uh the hoodie is dope and super comfortable can't lie yeah man i uh it's so warm in my house right now that i'm not not wearing the hoodie i'm wearing uh the casino royalty but yeah the hoodies are dope they're super comfortable uh super soft and a good way to rep the brand but yeah it's elon musk was basically on stage last night um with this Tesla electric truck that looked like a tank like to be honest it looked like one of the uh, one of the tanks off of Halo like and I saw a picture on Instagram of uh, they like photoshopped it to have Spartans like sitting in the truck and it was pretty cool it was pretty cool but the thing is crazy if I see one of those on the road it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna want to take pictures of and with and like I said on the stream yesterday whoever buys this thing uploads content to YouTube they're going to get a lot of views. It's going to draw a lot of attention. Snapchat buzzing. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. But So we had Tesla come out with their truck, right? And now we've got Ford coming out with the Mustang SUV, which I haven't given my thoughts on. This is the stream where I'm going to go ahead and do so. Um, I know Ford seen, seen the SUV. I know we kind of talked about it in the group a little bit, but... Um, this thing, it looks like a Mustang and an SUV. Like, I mean, if their their goal was to make the Mustang into an SUV, I feel like they achieved it. The taillights look exactly the same. The headlights have the same styling. Even the hood on the SUV is basically the same hood from the Mustang. Obviously, you know, retrofitted for the for the, the body lines and the, the SUV. But honestly, if you take an S550 and you put it next to the Mustang SUV... They look pretty identical if you were going to just turn it into an SUV. So um, they achieved the goal that they wanted to. I'm not sure exactly why they felt like they needed to do this. Um, you know, they could have easily made it um, another SUV. I don't know why companies keep doing this, changing their most popular sports cars into SUVs. Like the thing that comes to mind for me is Mitsubishi. Um, forever, it, the Eclipse has been their sports car, right? their four-cylinder sports car and um you know all of a sudden they want to turn it into a mid-size suv and that's the new eclipse and i feel like it just it dilutes the following and it kills the following of the specific vehicle right like if i'm a mustang fan which i am you know mustang's always been a v8 sports car so not a v8 sports car a v8 muscle car right it's always been a V8 muscle car. So, as a Mustang fan, because the people who want to buy Mustangs are Mustang fans, right? Fans of the vehicle. So, as a Mustang fan, is it going to make me happy that you're turning this iconic car into an SUV? Or is it going to piss me off a little bit? And am I even going to be a consumer for that vehicle? And the answer is no, I'm not. I don't want an SUV. I want a Mustang. And is it going to piss me off? Yeah, of course. Of course, it's going to upset Mustang fans. Um, so I don't, I don't understand the move. And same thing with the Eclipse. You know, uh, I own a 2004 Eclipse because of the Too Fast, Too Furious movies. You know, people love the Eclipse. It's an iconic car in the tuner scene. And um, for them to turn it into an SUV, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, no, this is four says. Though, what are your thoughts on the plated grill? on the e-type um i mean it looks kind of cool it looks kind of cool i don't does it have a specific purpose like is there something super special about it or you're just saying like the the plated grill in general because i mean it, it, it looks cool it looks all right um 
My problem isn't with the vehicle. My problem is just that they, they're calling it a Mustang. And, you know, if they were going to build it basically to be a Mustang SUV, I guess they couldn't have called it anything else. Because, uh, like I said, all the styling cues are from the Mustang. But it just kind of rubs me the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't understand why these companies have to do that. They could pick any name in the world, but they want to bring back an iconic name and change up the entire integrity of that specific uh, model. So it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But between the Ford and the Tesla, you know, who's going to sell more? Ford's always going to sell more. Ford's always going to sell more than Tesla. It just is. There's not enough people who have, number one, hopped on the electric car bandwagon. Number two, want the hassle of having to charge their car. And number three, you know, saying the base model is going to come in at 39.9, you know, whatever, right? Like, that's fine and all, but that Ford, I don't know what the price point is. Maybe you can help me out with that Ford, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, if not the same, a little bit less than 39.9. I could be wrong there, but... Um, I just don't see, you know, there's going to be a market for it. There's a market for all this stuff. But, um, you know, as far as a battle between the two, you know, the timing's interesting that they decided to release the two uh, very similarly and, you know, time frame as far as revealing them. Uh, I think that's interesting. But um, only time will tell. I don't know. I, I, I think the, the Mustang SUV will sell, but it's not going to sell because Mustang enthusiasts want it, if that makes sense. You might have guys like a, like the big, big Mustang channels who already have like, you know, souped up 5.0s. They might buy a Mustang SUV because they want to keep it in the Ford family and, you know, it'd be great content. But I don't see, uh, like, if I'm going to the dealership to buy a Mustang, I don't see myself considering the SUV as a Mustang option. I think it'll sell just like any other Ford SUV would sell. Basically like an Explorer, which they just released a new Explorer too, that they've been marketing. I've seen that um, on, uh, you know, when I watch my DVR shows, they're they're promoting the new Ford Explorer a lot. So I don't I don't know where the the Mustang SUV. They're probably just trying to gain, you know, these days with social media, it's all about hype. It's all about marketing and gaining attention. And if that was their goal, was to just gain attention with, you know, the Mustang SUV um, E-Type, then, you know, they're doing a good job, right? They're doing a good job, right? So, that's, you know, that's that's kind of my, my thoughts on the SUV. But can I see a bigger YouTuber like a, like a Stang Mode? Like a, like Stang Mode, for instance, he's, he's a fairly large um, Mustang YouTuber, could I see him, you know, leasing one or buying one to add to the Ford family, making content? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that for sure. So, um, it's just something you gotta be, you gotta be aware of is that a lot of times these companies do stuff for the, for the hype, for the publicity. And, um, that's that. So yeah, you know, that's, that's kind of my thoughts on it. What, what else? What else you think for, you know, what do you, what, what are your thoughts on the E-Type? Five trim levels, five trim levels. Like that's, that's a little ridiculous. The regular Mustangs don't even have five trim levels. How much, are, how much is this priced at? I'm going to look that up. Let me see what these are priced at. Mustang Mach E price Okay, so the so the Mach E it says it's gonna start at forty three eight. Basically forty three nine. Forty three thousand nine hundred. And then there'll be other options. These things will go up to 60. They'll start about 44 and they'll go up to about 60 grand. 
So my question for you guys is, are you getting a Mach E or are you getting the Tesla? I think the E type is a good idea to an extent. Why do you say that? I'm not saying it's not. I'm not just agreeing with you, but what why do you say it's a good I good idea to an extent? However, the issue runs into play every time you create a full EV, no matter what company it is, what is the battery limitations? Yeah, yeah. But this, this Mach-E, man, produces 459 horsepower, 612 foot-pounds of torque, 0 to 60 and 3.5 seconds. So we already knew Tesla was going to win that battle, right? Like, So essentially, the Cybertruck goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. And this is going 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Either way, two very impressive um, 0 to 60 times. In the styling category, Ford's got it. That, that Mach-E definitely looks better than um, the Cybertruck, uh, for sure. In the wow factor, obviously the Cybertruck's going to get it. Um, how many miles does this go up to? Like, how? What's the range? I saw the range on the Tesla. What's the range on the Ford? Let's see. I don't even see the range numbers on here. I just don't see myself. I just don't see myself getting in an all electric car like at this time. Like, obviously, in the future, right? Everyone's probably going to have battery powered cars, I'm sure. But at this point, like, at this point in the game, it just seems like it's more of a hassle than anything else. Okay, so it says range in miles, 230. So this is like, okay, they, they go up depending on what you get. So, wow, there's so many, tri like, dang, like you said, there's a lot of trim levels. Um, but the most you're going to get is four, it looks like 400. And Tesla's got to beat at 500, which is, I mean, they've been in the electric car game a lot longer. Um, but what if you use it co constantly as a daily, rev it up a lot, and causes more stress on the motors? Will the battery still last as long? The estimated range is 300 miles. Yeah, so, exactly. We don't really know um, the effects of wear and tear on these batteries yet because they haven't really vehicles like this haven't been out long enough so for me to drop you know 44 to 60 grand on it is kind of you know we don't know you could always get an all-wheel drive prius laugh my ass off no 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 you might as well you might as well go with the uh with the tesla right you might as well go with the tesla let's see I was looking I gotta find I was trying to see if there was any car meets this uh, see street, street speed just made a post up he said hats off to at Tesla Motors for making something so unimaginably hideous I can't even believe this isn't some giant troll please tell me this isn't real because I was actually excited for the Tesla truck and kind of wanted to buy one yeah so he thinks it's a joke like Look at, look at, he's kind of comparing it to his truck. The thing looks like something out of a movie, which in essence is cool for like Hollywood and stuff, but it's not really stylish to drive around. Like even if you threw a wrap on it, it'd still look kind of weird. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think, I don't know who's going to buy that thing, to be honest. Definitely a limited market. Let's see if there's any car meets going down. 
tonight. I think they got a, they're doing like a dyno, like a test and tune dyno event tonight. It looks like there's some cars out there, but those aren't like my favorite meets to go to. Might be a chill weekend. Might be a chill weekend. But yeah, that's kind of my warthog. That's what it is. Yep, the warthog, the warthog from uh, Halo. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, be right back. Okay, for hang tight with me. I'm gonna be right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that, that Tesla truck looks just like the Warhawk from Halo, basically. So I could see it being used in a lot of movies, a lot of um, crazy stunts and stuff like that, and probably on some of the bigger YouTube channels. For I mean, even though Street Speed said it was ugly, which it is, I could see him getting one and making a bunch of off-road content and, you know, doing it for the views and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of my, my thoughts on the two vehicles on, on the Ford. I think it's stylish, you know, they, they nailed it with the design, making it exactly like the Mustang. Um, I don't know how well it'll hold up. Obviously you, you got a warranty on it, so it's not a big deal, but it's a, it's a, it's a cool little SUV. Would I get one? Probably not. Unless I was one of those guys who's just married to the Ford brand, the Tesla, Never been a huge fan of Teslas, and um, you know, especially considering the thing is ugly. <laughs> especially considering that thing is ugly. But for those of you who come back on the replay, um, definitely check out the Patreon group. It's down below in the description. That's a great way to support me, support the brand, support the channel, and um, get some really cool benefits. Meet some really cool people and um, get more involved with Gentlemen's Driving Club. But I'm going to go ahead and send it to our sponsors, the Gentlemen's Driving Club Patreon group. And um, you guys check that out. And then I'm going to hop off of here and um, end up getting in that Patreon group, in the Discord group, and chopping it up with those guys tonight. What's your take on how the fire department, fire departments have to adjust these EVs? What do you mean by that? What do you mean adjust to these EVs? Like electric, oh, the electric vehicles. Um, what do you mean adjust to them? Like, like fire departments are moving to using electric vehicles? Clarif clarify that for me. You have to clarify that for me. For what do you mean, adjust to them? Are are they are they starting to purchase and use electric vehicles? Is that is that the case? While he's answering that, as a recap, uh, we got the Black Friday deal going on from today all the way to next Friday, which is actually Black Friday uh, through Black Friday, and that is um, 
going to be free shipping on all orders in the U.S. Anything on the website that's over fifteen dollars. Um, so definitely go check that out, gdcapparel.com. Also, big shout out to our Patreon family. We got Mike Potter, The Rice Pontiac, No2 Boss, King Crew 65, Bowie underscore Versa, Fallen Focus, and Molly No Drugs. And thank you to everyone else who's in the Patreon group as well. Um, he says, electrical fires are different than diesel or gas fires. Yeah, I mean, they just, it's just additional training, you know. There'll be another manual on it, another another training procedure to uh, extinguish those fires. And um, it's with the way electric vehicles look, it's not like uh, they have to guess, right? Like everybody knows what a Tesla looks like. Everybody definitely knows what that truck's going to look like. Um, so I'd say 99% of the time you know an electric vehicle from um, a non-electric. So... It's going to be additional training for them. That's all. I don't think it's a huge deal. But I'm going to go ahead and send it to our sponsors at the Gentleman's Driving Club Patreon group. And hop on out of here so you guys have a... They're calling it the Online Cars and Coffee. And now we're giving car enthusiasts a place to gather. So this is how it works. First, you pick your rank in the list of perks in which you want. Second... We send you a free sticker pack to thank you for joining the club. Third, you gain access to our private Discord group, which gives you access to all the GDC forums to collaborate with other drivers. The parts marketplace to buy, sell, and trade parts. And it gives you access to local GDC meets, cruises, and drives. Join the club today to earn all of these benefits and start driving with Gentleman's Driving Club.